Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Frances Nicole and today I'm coming to you guys to do a makeup review on a high demanded popular makeup palette. Now, I personally seen this palette on Facebook maybe sometime last year and of course when I went to the website it was sold out. So I had to wait until they finally restocked. They finally restocked. On March 25th they had restocked their palettes and let's just say this palette sold out within that 24 hour frame i went and checked later on that day just to see if they still had palettes and they did not they were sold out i want to say by 6 p.m in that specific time so yeah and i had to jump on it like as soon as i woke up i ordered the palette just to make sure that i got it this time so i finally came yesterday and sorry guys i was anticipating this palette so bad that i already looked at it but i decided that it would be perfect to do a review on it just because there's not many reviews on it i think just because it's always out of stock because it's so high demanded but um yeah so this is what the packaging looks like nothing fancy um but that's fine i feel like the palette it speaks for itself so the packaging really doesn't doesn't need to be all spectacular or not or what whatever so when opening the package you have the company logo which is the crayon case and like i said um yeah this is the website you have to go to to order the palette i will put the link in the description down below if you're interested in buying it um i actually seen that it restocks april 15th so if you're interested in getting it make sure that you guys jump on it like as soon as possible because i'm pretty sure it's gonna sell out again so yeah this is the packaging that it came in um i ordered some of their beauty blenders i wanted the colorful ones because they have ones that are like really colorful but um i they were sold out of those also so i just ordered these excuse me and this is the palette itself and it's pretty big look at this box compared to my head that's how big the palette is this is the palette and whew, i've been anticipating this i was so excited yesterday when i received it that at first i'm like no i can't i can't open it i should open it on camera in front of you guys and share this with you but i'm sorry i just couldn't wait like i had to have it like i had to see what it looked like so i've already taken a glimpse but i have not swatched any of these I have not tried on any of these so that i will share with you all but pretty much this is the palette and oh my goodness you guys so first off let's just start off with the price the price for this palette is 30 dollars now you get i believe you get 18 shades in this palette for 30 dollars. that's not bad and then if you see what how big it is the size of it it's well worth it now i've seen a couple of people's reviews like Aaliyah j and patrick's not patrick star jeffrey star sorry my bad i've seen them review this palette and so i do know that they are very pigmented if Jeffree Star approved it. Yeah. So this is what the palette looks like. And for starters, this mirror, this mirror, you guys, look how big it is. It's really big. So um, these are the colors and pretty much it's what it says is the crayon, crayon palette. So they named all their shadows after um the different colors in the crayon box um and it's not through the crayon actual 
company. It's through another company and it's called the Crayon, the Crayon Case. Yes. Like I said, I will put all, I will put their link down in the description. Make sure that you jump on it because April 15th is around the corner and it will sell out. I'm pretty sure it will. But yes, so this is the palette and the pan sizes for these eyeshadows are very big. And like I said, for $30, that's not bad. I paid $5 for the Beauty Blender. Just to inform you guys, this isn't sponsored. They didn't sponsor this video. They didn't pay send me this palette. I purchased this, I purchased it on my own. And yeah, so I'm deciding to do the review with you guys because it's just wow, oh, look at these colors. They have blue, green. The blue is a shimmery, um, glittery kind of eyeshadow. Um, the green is a matte, the red, the yellow, the black, the brown. So I would say they have a few shimmery colors. So all of these ones would be considered shimmery. This purple right here, it's a little matte kind of shimmery. It's not as shimmery as this violet color, but it still has a little glittery look to it. So I decided to try it with you guys to see how it is. I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do because I just don't. Um, but yeah, let's just jump in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do my eyebrows and then I'll come back to you guys to do the eyeshadow look. Alright, so I did my eyebrows off camera. So now I'm about to prime my eyelids and I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape um, in the color medium. And I'm just going to put a little bit I'm using mirror on the um, palette. I'm just going to put a little on my lid. Now I have got this beauty blender from them. So I'm just going to use it to blend out the concealer. Now I didn't like soak it. Cause I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> I'm being lazy today, guys. But I sprayed some Mac Fix Plus spray on it, so it is damp. It's not like completely um, damp, like how you would if you had the uh, if you had the um, if you soaked if you had like, wet it. But it'll do. So, to start off with the palette, to set my primer that I just set on my eyes, I'm going to go in with tan, and I'm going to set my eyes with that. It's close to my skin tone, but that's fine. Normally I'll use like a setting powder or a really, really light um, eyeshadow, but this one, it's fine. I heard that like, if you don't set your eyes, that your colors come out more pigmented, but I have a lot of creases in the corners of my eyes that I'm too scared to do that. Oh yeah, and I'm sorry, I'm using a Elf Flawless Concealer Brush to blend this, to set it. And just to set it a little bit more, I'm gonna use my Big Eye. Just to give it a little bit more lighter look. To make sure that all these colors come through. Start off with 
the palette I'm going to use the tan color again just because it's a really good transition color and also there's not really too much fallout out of this palette now if you see I'm just gonna set I'm just gonna go into my crease with this Firma 201 brush that I got in my Ipsy bag and I'm just gonna go and pop this into my crease. It's just a really good transition color to use. I'm just gonna do one eye just because I really don't know what I'm gonna do and then once I'm done with this eye I'll go and do the other eye off camera and then come back so I'm just gonna put this in my crease I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do but with all these colors I figured the best decision would be to use a cut crease just because you can kind of do more. All right, so that's not that bad. So now I'm gonna use this. Now this is like a new brand. I wanna say they're kind of like Elf, cause yeah, they're kind of like Elf, but it's called C I C A I, and this is the eyeshadow brush. And uh, I'm just gonna use this to go in with. Hmm. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go in with the brown. I'm going with brown, just to bring a little bit more definition to my crease. So I'm not gonna go as high with this like I did with the tan. I'm just gonna go straight literally into my crease with it. And you guys, these shadows are pigmented. As you can see, very pigmented. And I'm just kind of setting this in my crease and kind of blending it out. But with this brush, you can't really blend like that. It's more so like a fine pointy brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with the from a two on one brush and I'm gonna use the same tan color and I'm just gonna blend out the two. I'm gonna use the Elf Flawless Concealer Brush. It's more of a fluffier oval brush, and this will help blend it all together. And I'm just switching back between brushes just to make sure that everything looks pretty decent. So now that that's blended out, I'm going to be using my No Name Arch Brush. And this is just a regular arch brush, if you see. It's slanted at the top. I like this one because it's a little bit more firm at the root of the bristles. So it's easier to keep its structure and kind of help you um, arch stuff. That makes sense. Like when I do my eyebrows, since it's so firm, when I try to do my arch, it glides with it, like it, and the fact that it's arched at the top. So I'm gonna use my, I believe I'm gonna use, let's see, I need a light shade. So I think I'm gonna go with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Natural. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of this onto the back of my hand like that and I'm just gonna cut my crease and 
Now you don't want too much product on your brush. You don't want to scoop and have like that much because it will be kind of hard when you're first arching it out. You want to kind of have just enough to do what it needs to do and then go in with more product to kind of fill it in. So I like to start at the inner corner. And I think I'm just gonna do like a half cut crease. Then I'm gonna use um, the same Elf Falls Concealer brush, but this is a totally different brush. I have two of them. So I'm gonna use a clean one to kind of um, these primer. I'm gonna use my Ben Nye Ben Out Ben Nye Banana Powder to set the cut crease. Like that. So now I'm gonna use the silver, the blue, and the purple, one of these purples. So in the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the silver. And I'm going to use, let's see, a lot of new brushes. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. This is another CAI Beauty NYC brush. So I'm going to use this to go in with this silver into the inner corner. Oh, MG. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. That is pigmented. And this is without any setting spray or anything like, I like it. It's really pigmented for a shimmery, glittery color. Cause mostly with glitter, shimmery colors, you have to, um, to get like a real deep, deep color or get the actual pigmented of the color pigmentation of the color let's say that um most people will spray their brush with um, a little bit of setting spray just to kind of give it a little bit more moisture to kind of bring out the darker colors but this is without any setting spray and i also set my lid for my cut crease so it's not because I didn't set my cut crease, so that's pretty pigmented. This is another No Name Elf brush, and I'm gonna go in and use the baby blue. I really don't know where I'm going with this eye look. I'm really just wanting just to use the colors that I'm using. Somehow it's gonna all come together and if it doesn't, then it doesn't, but so far so good. Look at that. All right, okay, okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with, hmm. Now, I pretty much have done all shimmery colors on my lid, so I feel like figure I might as well just finish doing shimmery colors just because that's what I've been doing. So I'm gonna go in with this blue. Next to the light blue.
And I'm gonna just switch back and forth just to kind of blend the two colors together. Does it kind of give a good transition? I like it. Now the blue, the dark blue, it seems a little bit more. It seems a little bit more less pigmented, but it still has color payoff. Like as you can see, you can see it, but it's not as, I wanna say, let me see. Yeah, it's not as creamy, yeah. It's not as creamy as the blue, the baby blue. Like if you look, this is the the blue shimmery color, the dark blue one. And then this one is this one. And this blue right here, it's a little bit more, it's not as creamy, let's just say that. But it still has color payoff. That's pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the um, finish. I think I should do the violent. I think I should do the violent where I put the orange at and then finish it off with purple in the, in the corner, the outer corner. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna go in to this purple. Yeah, that looks a little bit more better than the orange to me just because it kind of flows a little bit better with the blue sorry guys I really didn't know what I was doing with this look I honestly just wanted to play with the colors now I'm gonna go into the outer corner with this purple to kind of bring all the colors together. Oh yeah. That purple pops. Hola. Pops like what? So yeah, I think that's gonna finish it off. Now I'm gonna put another color in the under eye waterline part, but for the top part, that's pretty much all she wrote. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to do this eye and then do my face and I'm gonna come back and show you guys the under eye part um, now the beauty blenders I did try blending it out on my eyelid um, I like the beauty blenders because they're very soft um, I don't like firm beauty blenders just because they don't blend out as easily with with um, squishy blend beauty blenders um, you can kind of get into the areas that you want. It's more flexible. It works with what you need it to do. Um, so as far as the beauty blenders, they're very good. I believe this was $5. And like I said, I brought one, but they sent me two. So I don't know if you get two for the price of one, but, um, yeah, I spent $5 on one and they sent me two. So I got pretty much for $5, I got two beauty blenders. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't know if they normally do that or if I just happened to accidentally get another one thrown in my box, which if I did, thank you, crayon case. But I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye off camera and then I'm going to come back and um, we'll start swatching some of the other colors just to kind of see how they are. 
and then um i'm gonna go into my under eye with another color not quite sure yet what color but we're gonna figure that out once I all right so i went and i finished one well the other eye in my face and i added a lip for my lip i'm using the in Fallible L'Oreal Paris Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Deep Disturb. So all the products that I use for my face and everything that I did off camera, I will put in the description down below so that you guys can use it if you guys like. Um, so far, I love this palette. I decided to come back and do my under eye just so you can see some other colors um, be kind of used. So I'm gonna use this brush that I used earlier for the purple. And hmm, I say I go in with the pink under eye. So I'm gonna Go ahead and place this under. So I went in under my eye with the pink, but it's not really popping, popping. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go over it with the Deep Plum. Just to kind of make it pop a little bit more. And I'm just gonna blend this underneath the pink. Just to kind of add a little bit more. Just to make sure. Then I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more with the brush that I used for the tan color. I like that plum. I really do. Alright, so in my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the this. So I'm gonna take Oh, that's creamy. I'm gonna take the um, white and I'm gonna put it in the inner corner. That's bomb. I like that. is my look. I'm gonna go in my lash, lower lash line and put in just a little bit more matte, well, a little bit more. I'm gonna put in some mascara on my lash line. And I'm using the Tarte, Tarte, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Um, mask look is finished. I'm gonna finish it off with some MAC Fix Spray setting spray I love the smell of this stuff absolutely love today's crazy hair day <laughs> just kidding no. it's just my hair is like really curly and like lately I've been trying to do this whole natural vibe thing with like not trying to put gels and stuff in my hair and it's not really easy because this is pretty much all I get because the only way I can slick my hair is if I put grease in it. I mean, if I put gel in it. I'm gonna swatch some of the other colors that I did not use in this look. Um, but I'm gonna also let you know what colors I did use. So out of this palette, today I have used brown the tan and i used those in my um crease and these this these were kind of like my transition colors 
my cut crease, I used the silver, the baby blue, the blue, the violet, and the purple. And that's what I used in my, um, in the eyelid part. <laughs> And then under my eye, I used the pink and the deep plum. And in the inner corner, I used the white. So I would say the only shades that I did not use were these four at the top, these two, the gold, and the lime green. So those ones I'm gonna swatch for you right now. So starting off with the, this is the green, creamy. This is the red. And that look on me like that. But that's painted tip for a yellow. Just because you can access the black. And that's actually a really good black eyeshadow. The Jamaican Cutlass. This lime green. I'm place that right. So that lime green is really pigment tip also. I like that um, shimmery colors. So this is the orange, and it. That is bomb. So these are the colors that I did not use. These are all the matte shades that I didn't use, and these are the rest of the shimmery colors that I didn't use. And um, so far out of this palette, I would say that it's really pigmented, really pigmented. I like it. Even the shimmer colors are pigmented, which is a plus. Honestly, the blue, I would say, is the only one to me that you would need a little bit of setting spray just to kind of make the pigmentation come out a little bit more. The rest of these shimmer colors are A1. You don't need anything. They're very creamy. Um, and that's what, and out of all these shimmery colors, this is the only one that's, um, and like I swatched it earlier, it's not creamy at all, but it still has color payoff. So that's the plus. It's, it's still pigmented. You still will get the color payoff that you want with this. And I also used it on my lid so you can kind of see where it is before the purple. But for $30, that's not bad. And then also you get this jumbo mirror. That's a big mirror. So I would definitely recommend getting this palette. Um, like I said earlier, um, it restocks April 15th. And um, yeah, it restocks April 15th. Like I said before, March 25th was the last restock date and it sold out within like less than 24 hours. So you might want to jump on it like quick. But um, yeah, so far I love it. With that being said, this is my finished look. Um, and I rate the crayon box of crowns crown case palette well this is not it's not their only palette they have another palette um i want to say they have two other palettes and those were also sold out but this is the main one that i wanted i could not wait to get this i just could not um but for them a1 um i recommend it and like i said it's it's very affordable for the packaging, the mirror, the pigmentations, the um, pan sizes of the actual eyeshadows. They're very, they're actually a nice size. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Thank you for watching. Um, make sure that you guys subscribe, like, and comment. Um, like I said, all of the products that I used in today's tutorial will be in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out if you want to get any information on anything that I used. Um, and yeah, tune into the next video that I will be posting hopefully soon. <laughs> um, I do have a hair tutorial. 
So I will be posting that sometime after this makeup tutorial. So stay tuned for that video as well. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos, which I only have one, <laughs> go ahead and check that out. It was another eyeshadow tutorial that I did on my other palette that I had got, which was the Carol's or suggestions that you want to see. Go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'm open to all suggestions, um, all looks, all challenges. So go ahead and throw them my way. I will put my social media links down below so you can also follow me on snapchat facebook instagram i don't have a twitter at the moment actually i have a twitter but i don't use it and i don't know the password to it so i'll have to figure that out and i don't really use twitter that often i know that a lot of people use twitter but i haven't got you hip to that yet so like i said go follow me on snapchat instagram facebook and yeah thank you for tuning in um until next time love you guys